Hi everyone, I'm just going to do a quick market update over here before market opens this evening. Today we are on Wednesday 25th of September over here. So we're just going to take a look at what happened on uh, Friday itself followed by Monday and Tuesday this week. Sorry, on Thursday we have this upsurge over here followed by a Friday weakness towards the close. And what we have on Monday and Tuesday's trading is really just sideways movements. Now and this is very normal because uh, on a week where the Federal Reserve or the FOMC is going to announce decisions on the interest rates itself in the, in the market, uh, this is what usually happens and we start to see sideways choppy movements until the actual fact or the results is being announced itself. Now so the whole market is prepared for an uh, announcement that interest rates are going to be raised over here and let's see what's you know the reaction that's going to really happen when it comes about at Thursday morning 2 a.m. in Singapore time. Now obviously we're not going to stay up and watch this happen so we're just going to take uh, some stunts over here and see what happens tomorrow when the market reopens. But typically one thing that happens uh, on such FOMC days is if we do see a gap after the announcement itself, that means the market surges up after that, typically the next day after will be a reverse of the effect itself. So if we see a down move, uh, down move after the interest rates are being announced, then we will usually see a reverse on the day itself after that. But that's just temporary, which means after the gap or the reverse is being made and achieved, uh, the market goes back into uh, the trend movements or whichever strength is di dictating the market for the day. Now, so that's pretty much for the market itself. So it's sideways trending. So you can't really do much right now unless you have stocks in your arsenal right now that you feel is really good when it comes to opportunities to make money. And today, all right, just before I end, I just like to highlight and bring to your attention a, a stock that really picks my interest over here. Now, so um, one stock that I want to talk about over here, it's interestingly Las Vegas Sands. Yeah, all right, Las Vegas Sands over here has been suffering since um, the start of July over here. So we see the stock gap and after that it's been moving on a downtrending movements uh, until the month of September itself. Now by the month of September it seems to hit a base of around 59 and 58 levels and now it seems to be channeling sideways from here. Now. I actually see a great potential when it comes to uh, Las Vegas Sands, not because I anticipate that the stock is going to go up, but by being an option seller over here, I benefit from the part where I don't need to be correct in order to make some funds or some income over here on this stock. Now, so I actually identified an option that expires on 5th of October for this particular counter and it currently brings in a return of about 2.6% return in just um, 9 days. But usually, uh, to, to be on the conservative side, nine days would usually be counted as two weeks over here on our um, community itself when we take on trades. Now, so if you work it out over here, over here, now a 2.6% return, right, uh, on an annualized basis is going to be pretty much 68% um, per annum returns over here on this trade if we do take them. Now, and when will I be wrong over here on this particular trade? Now, I would be wrong only if uh, Las Vegas Sands is going to break to a new low over here uh, over the next two weeks. And even if it does that, in IMP, one thing that we price ourselves on is when we are wrong, we are able to repair trades that we are wrong on and still generate a profiting outcome. All right, so one thing that our strength is over here is we don't need to be correct. We can be wrong, but you know we still end up making money on the trades that we take. So it doesn't matter whether you know we are right or wrong in the markets anymore. Right? What matters is really the outcome, which is a profiting situation, not only for myself, but for our students in our community as well. Now, so that's really all I have for a market update today. I hope you know it, it, it enriches your day over here and before the market opens, I hope it value adds uh, to your preparation of the markets for trading today. Now, and I'll catch you in my next market update, which will come soon again. Right now, if you like uh, what I'm sharing over here, it provides value for you to know a bit of insight uh, on the markets open or pre-opens over here. Do uh, just subscribe to the YouTube channels over here and you know, you'll be receiving updates and notifications when I do my next uh, video over here. All right, that's all I have. All right, see you soon.